Hello, welcome back to the How To Electrical. As you see previously, we wired up a one-way two-plate line circuit. Our next connection will be to convert this to a two-way two-plate line circuit. For convenience, if you looked at the last video, the connections in the consumer unit will be the same. As you notice, as you said, we're connected now to this element here, which I've only disconnected from the ceiling rows. For convenience, I haven't got any uh, conduit connected, but normally the, the cable would travel down through the conduit across to the next switch, as would the corresponding cable from the two-way element of this switch, which I will thread through the hole to replicate going through the conduit. So now what you'll see is two cables connected to these two elements of the switch. We now correspond that connection to the switch. So now this live wire from this position on the first switch, again, for convenience, we imagine there's conduit, will then go into the corresponding connection on the second switch. As so, again, corresponding part to first switch. Again, we're replicating the conduit. We'll then go into the corresponding connection on a second switch. Our last connection now will be from the common straight back to the ceiling rows, which will complete our circuit. This again, as I say, there is no conduit. We then run from the common of the final switch, which is here, ensure there is no copper showing. For convenience, we come back through the conduit, through back entry. Everything has to come through the back entry so we can then secure the ceiling rows. And then we now complete the connection into the ceiling rows. Again, it's important that there is earth in at every point of a system, of a circuit. So we would extend the earth in from the first switch. So as a quick summary then, this is now connected. Once the power is applied via the circuit breaker through the brown live cable, will continue through the ceiling rows to the common of the first switch. We then extend these brown line cables corresponding L1 or one way to the corresponding L1 one way on this switch and L2 two way onto the L2 two way of this corresponding switch. We then return back to the ceiling rows where the power will then go through the brown cable of the ceiling rows which will then through the resistive element which is the bulb back on the neutral through the conduit back to the neutral bar which gives us a complete circuit. When this switch is switched on, it will switch the relevant light on, maybe at the top of the stairs. When you get to the top of the stairs, as we said earlier, you can then switch that light off. This is by use of these, which are called strappers. And that's it for the two-way two-plate circuit. In the next video, we'll be incorporating an intermediate switch.